Good morning, everyone. I am going through my, my inbox this morning and I just saw something that was bananas. So the Liberal government under Trudeau, uh, the parliamentary budget officer, this is somebody who's like an independent officer of parliament, just confirmed that the Liberals are going to spend three quarters of a billion dollars or $750 million dollars to take firearms away from law-abiding firearms owners. Now, if you're if you're watching this and you don't know much about firearms in Canada and you are concerned about firearms violence as I am, I want to give you a little bit of background. Um, first of all, Canada is not the United States. Um, oftentimes, uh, politicians in Canada will use the United States and try and conflate the firearms issues that are in the United States with Canada, and that's just not the case. I mean, uh, in Canada, we have very strict licensing processes. You have to take a course to, a, a very, very strenuous course to be able to be licensed to own firearms in Canada. Um, you, you're very strictly vetted. Um, there's all of these rules that are in place on storage and on use uh, in order to own firearms in Canada that just aren't in place in the United States. So it's two very different things. Now, I, I want to see firearms violence stopped in Canada. I, I, you know, many of you have heard me talk about, um, you know, what was a very painful experience of, you know, for, for so many Canadians, but the shooting on Parliament Hill. I don't want anyone to live through an experience like that. Firearms violence is a huge problem that we need to, we need to end. But the data in Canada shows that firearms that are used in, in violent crime in Canada, they, they don't come from people that have gone through the process of, of legally owning firearms. They're smuggled in illegally from the United States or it, like they're not legally obtained. So the, the question becomes, why would the Liberals be spending three quarters of a billion dollars to take away property from people that have legally purchased it that by all data and all accounts aren't the problem or the source of firearms violence in Canada? Why wouldn't they be focusing that money on addition, addressing the issue of gang violence and illegally smuggled firearms? I, I, I just want to, again, if, if you're watching this and you've never really thought about the issue, you're like, I care about it, but you, you haven't thought about the solution, you have to understand that like, this is a lot of money, three quarters of a billion dollars. Think about what that could do uh, to, to bolster the tools that let's say the RCMP or police forces have to stop gang violence or to detect the importation of illegally smuggled firearms into the country. Like that would be a lot of money to do that. Instead, this is essentially, th there's no data that the liberals have that shows that taking away the legally owned property of law abiding firearms owners in Canada is going to end firearms violence. And, and for that reason, this should be we should be opposing this. I think what the Liberals have done, because they're so successful in always wedging Canadians on really sensitive issues, right? You're either with them or you're against them. But on this issue, you know, the f firearms community in Canada, I know, I know many of you probably are watching this right now. You, you, want, you don't want to see violent crime in Canada. There's this, the Liberals try and paint firearms owners in Canada as the perpetrators of these crimes, but it's, you know, it's farmers, it's hunters, it's sports shooters. Everybody wants to end firearms violence in Canada. There's a lot of common ground there, but this is not the way. And, and that's a lot of your money. Even if this is not an issue for you that you care about, you should care about how your tax dollars are being spent. $750 million to take away the property of legally, that, have, that has been legally obtained by people who have, are some of the most vetted and scrutinized people in the country is not going to end firearms violence. It's just not. Like, even if this program goes through, which, you know, I, I think is crazy for the record, I, 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 I highly doubt that it's going to stop gang violence or shootings. Even the horrendous and just abysmal like murder that happened in in Nova Scotia that the liberals used for political gain that that crime was perpetrated with firearms that were illegally obtained this the 750 million dollars likely would not have prevented that so I think we have to say that this for what it is this is you know and you know it's going to be more than that too, right? Like even though the par parliamentary budget officer is estimating it at seven hundred fifty million dollars, uh, you know the liberals 
how are they going to administer this? Like, this is just going to be such a huge boondoggle. I, I really wish that, you know, groups across the country, instead of conflating this issue to, to one set of people, like putting the blame on uh, law-abiding firearms owners in Canada, they would look at the data and say, this isn't the issue, right? Um, we need to work together to, to not let the Liberals wedge on this issue, but rather come up with real solutions to address firearms violence. And that's, that's just the reality. So, you know, like, look, if, if firearms violence is an issue for you, I just, I just ask you to park the preconceived notions that you might have, especially if they're imported from, you know, watching American news coverage of this. It's not the same debate in Canada. It's not the same system. And we should be looking at the best, the data, for the best ways to get policy on this. And the data, again, shows that the vast, overwhelming majority of firearms violence related crimes in Canada happen with illegally smuggled firearms not the firearms that are legally obtained by people in Canada that have gone through the entire review process and, and abide by all the rules, which are much stricter and much harsher than they are in the United States. So um, share this video and share it with somebody who, um, you know, perhaps has some preconceived notions about this issue. Because think about what, think about the opportunity cost of $750 million could be. I mean, they could be using that on a whole suite of issues to stop violent crime in other ways, the determinants of violent crime, gang violence, or again, detection of illegally smuggled firearms into the country. But no, no, they're, they're going to use it to take away legally obtained um, uh, property, which I just can't support. Um, any of the Liberals' firearms legislation has, has been designed to wedge Canadians and to score cheap political points. Um, based on the, the US narrative, which is not the reality in Canada. And actually it abdicates responsibility to put forward policy that could actually end firearms violence, given the realities of the data uh, that the data shows in Canada. So share this video. Um, conservatives, I'll continue, obviously continue to uh, oppose this type of uh, policy because it doesn't, it's not going to work. And the money could be used better elsewhere. Working hard for you. Have a great day.